How long is the Moffat Tunnel? 6.2 miles. The 6.2 mile Moffat Tunnel in the Rocky Mountains was the largest railroad tunnel in the Western Hemisphere when completed. The tunnel was conceived by David Moffat of Denver, Northwestern and Pacific Railroad as early as 1902. Before the tunnel was constructed, the original DNW and P tracks climbed Rollins Pass, which is above the tunnel, in a series of switchback loops. It was climbed with a steep 4% grade and hampered by severe snow conditions in the winter. The Moffat Tunnel is a railroad and water tunnel that cuts through the Continental Divide in north central Colorado. If you're not sure of what a Continental Divide is, it is the divide of a continent where the water that falls on one side runs to one ocean and the water that falls on the other side runs to the other ocean, in this case, the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. The Moffat Tunnel was named after a Colorado railroad pioneer, David Moffat. The tunnel's first official railroad traffic passed through in February 1928. The Moffat Tunnel finally provided Denver with a western link through the Continental Divide, as both Cheyenne, Wyoming to the north and Pueblo to the south already enjoyed rail access to the west coast. It follows the right-of-way laid out by Moffat in 1902 while he was seeking a better and shorter route from Denver to Salt Lake City and west. The Moffat Tunnel averages many trains per day, mostly freight. In the winter, not only the Amtrak California Zephyr runs through it, but also a seasonal weekend ski train runs through from Denver to Winter Park, which is just beyond the West Portal. The ski train runs on weekends during the ski season. The Amtrak Zephyr runs daily from Chicago to Emeryville near San Francisco. The railroad and water tunnel parallel one another. The water tunnel delivers a portion of Denver's water supply from across the divide. The railroad tunnel is 24 feet, 7.3 meters high, 18 feet, 5.5 meters wide and 6.2 miles in length. The apex of the tunnel is at 9,239 feet, that's 2,816 meters above sea level. The tunnel has a gradient of 1 in 125 or 0.8 percent. The tunnel is single tracked so only one train can run through at a time usually with eastbound and westbound trains alternating. The tunnel is ventilated by massive fans operating after a train has exited the tunnel. The portals have doors which are shut before the fans are activated. The railroad tunnel was holed through on July 7, 1927 and formally turned over to the railroad on February 26, 1928. The tunnel took 48 months to bore. We had a great day going up to Toland and seeing the Moffat Tunnel and watching the Amtrak Zephyr glide through. Beautiful day. So here we are at the Moffat Tunnel entrance in Toland, Colorado. It's a lovely day, a bit chilly and uh, fairly windy. And we are